Today I'll be providing you with an overview of my PhD thesis. The cover of this thesis is shown at the right with an image that was created using machine learning and a lease event display and the title of this thesis as input. Shown at the left are various details related to my time on Elise, including the paper that was recently published concerning the work published in my thesis. The main physics object of this thesis were jets. Jets are created with hard scatterings between quarks and gluons, also called partons. These hard scattered partons have a large momentum transfer and then fragment via a parton shower and hadronize into particles that then we then measure in the detector. Jets are the narrow cone of particles that result from this process. Where we reconstruct jets with a given resolution parameter, R, which is roughly related to the cone radius, where we can define different jets with different resolution parameters that are sensitive to different aspects of the jet evolution. Jets in heavy ion collisions interact with the quark-gluon plasma formed in this system, which results in jet energy loss and jet substructure modification. Jets in heavy ion collisions sit on top of a large background of correlated and uncorrelated fluctuations. Commonly in Elise, to treat this background, a pedestal subtraction is performed, which is commonly called the area-based method. However, in this thesis, we were looking to measure jets with low transverse momentum and large radius, which required new techniques to be developed. For this, we developed a machine learning based background subtraction. Machine learning is the name given to any algorithm that imitates the way that humans learn. This is because humans are naturally quite good at picking out signals from complex backgrounds. For example, you can probably read the word signal in this image here at the right. When we look at the performance of this machine learning based background subtraction, we look at the delta PT distributions, which are essentially a measure of the resolution of the jet PT. When we compare the machine learning based curve in purple to the area based curve shown here in blue, we see that the machine learning based curve shows a significantly reduced width, indicating a significantly improved resolution on the jet PT. In order to measure jets in Elise, we benefit from the very precise tracking in high density environments, which is done predominantly using the inner tracking system shown in green and the time projection chamber shown in blue. In general, this is great for measurements of jets and their substructure. In this thesis, we looked at the dependence of the RAA on the cone radius R. The RAA it refers to the suppression of the jet yield in heavy ion collisions as compared to PP collisions at a fixed PT that results purely from the energy loss of jets as they traverse the quark gluon plasma. In this thesis, we took the ratio of the nuclear modification factor, or the RAA, at a given radius for jets with a radius of 0.2. And when we did this, we found that jets with a radius of 0.6 show larger degrees of suppression than jets with a radius of 0.2, indicating that these wider jets may lose more energy as they traverse the QGP which probes the way for new future studies to be made. 